What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, back again bringing you guys some more Regulation D content for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet for the Nintendo Switch. So guys, in today's video, we got ourselves a dope one today. We are going to be using a Hisuian Samurai team on the casual ladder and showcasing this Pokemon in this format. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, what are you doing? Click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. If you guys want to support me extra more than subscribers do, make sure you guys become a member. Click the join button or there is a link down in the description below. It does cost a little bit of money, so it's not mandatory, but it is greatly appreciated. You get a bunch of uh, channel perks such as emotes, sub badges, all that cool stuff and priority towards me commenting back. So if you guys are interested in that, like I said, everything's down in the description below. But Hisuian Samurai, really cool Pokemon, water and dark, but its design is phenomenal. Its color scheme just goes perfectly and just looks insane at the same time. But we can get started here with today's team preview in the top left hand corner with Cleavor. Cleavor, another one of those Hisuian Pokemon that looks so, so cool. He has sharpness and a choice scarf, rock and stone axe, close combat, terror blast, and U-turn. Fluttermane is in our second slot, and you guys seen plenty of Fluttermane, it's just a great filler for this team. He has Protosynthesis, the Booster Energy, Shadow Ball, Moonblast, Protect, and Substitute. Two more Pokemon on this team is going to be Shen Pao and Dragonite. Not really going to talk much about them, everything's pretty much straightforward with the Shen Pao, but for the Dragonite, it has the Choice Band and the normal Terror type, so it's basically there to E-Speed up next to Shen Pao. You guys seen that plenty of times in Series 3, it was such a dominant combo. Bottom left hand corner is going to be Tornadus, a great support mon, and like I've been saying in the past, this Pokemon is going to be on pretty much every single meta team when Regulation D comes out. This one has Prankster, the Cover Cloak as item, Rock and Bleak Wind Storm, Rain Dance for uh, Weather Control, and then we got Tailwind and Taunt. Final Pokemon is going to be the star of the show, Hisuian Samurai, Water and Dark type with Sharpness as his ability to actually make cutting moves do 50% more damage, which he has two and they're both stab. We got his new move, Ceaseless Edge, which is a stab dark type move that actually puts spikes on the opposing Pokemon's field. So it's kind of like Stone Axe from Cleaver, but instead of Stealth Rocks, it drops normal spikes. He also has Aqua Cutter, which is a cutting move, getting the 50% boost from Sharpness, but that thing just... uh boost critical hit ratio so it's just a strong stab water move he also has sacred sword for coverage and the aqua jet as first turn priority and then last but not least the item it is holding is the assault vest to make it a bit more beefier on that special defensive side guys if you want to rent this team for yourself rental code is at the top right hand corner but let's get after it let's hop on that casual ladder let's grab some wins with this hisuian samurai team Hopping into our first match for today's video, we're going up against a stacked Regulation D team. They got Regilecki, who is the fastest Pokemon in the game. They also have Landorus, which is going to be a little bit of a problem considering it has Intimidate. And then they got Tornadus, or not Tornadus, Thunderous, Chiyu, Rillaboom, and Urshifu. Tornadus is definitely going to have to come out here from us. I could go into Samurai, but I feel as this should be more of a back-end Pokemon because they might drop Intimidate on me. I could go Shen Pao, I could go Dragon. I feel like I want to bring both of them and Samurai. The problem here is, are you multi-scale or inner focus? You're multi-scale, okay. Um, hmm, Landers definitely gonna come out here. And it's just a little bit of a problem. I might just go into Samurai and say, screw it. And if I have to swap him, I can swap him. I mean, Aqua Cutter can still do a crazy amount of damage. So I'm with it. I'm gonna go in with these two. Actually, no, I'm not. Regilecki's gonna be the lead. Regilecki is gonna be the lead. You are not coming out here. You are not coming out here because they are leading that Regilecki. And that's going to be a problem. But you know what? I'm just going to go Shen Pao. I'm going to go Shen Pao. I'm going to go Tornadus. I'm going to go Samurai in the back end. And then I'm just going to go Dragonite because Dragonite has a bunch of different good coverage moves. I really do like that. So we're splitting up the Shen Pao and Dragonite. We have to do something a little different here considering we're going up against straight meta. It's going to be, it's always tough playing up against straight meta. Now that the meta pretty much is stronger, way stronger than, uh, than the last meta. So we'll see who they want to lead. It's going to be Landers. No, neither of the Pokemon that I that I thought he was going to lead. So that uh, Thunderous is probably Defiant. We do have the Swords of Ruin. Um, that is the Water Urshifu, I believe. So Bleak Wind Storm is going to be pretty solid here. I'm going to go into... I could Terrasalize into Ghost, which wouldn't be bad. And just Bleak Wind Storm across the board. And then set up a Tailwind next turn. I kind of like that a lot. But I'm going to do that. And you know what? I'm just going to go into an Ice Spinner in this slot. That's gonna be my play all day. We're not gonna set up a tailwind right here right now. We're gonna we're gonna attack the opposing side and terrestrialize or tornadus at the same time. Because my plan here is 
that Thunderous is going to hit me with an electric move. So if I Terrasilize, I can hit with a Bleak Windstorm. Then next turn, take Prankster first turn priority, Tailwind up, and take Speed. So we'll see who they want to or what they want to do here. But like I said, we're Terrasilizing the Ghost. I'm not trying to lose my Tornadus this early. But they're going to Terrasilize as well. Who are you Terrasilizing? Is that Urshfu? Or is it Thunderous? It's going to be Thunderous. Into what typing? Flying, hopefully? Straight Dark. This thing is going dark. He going crazy. The dark type coming out from that. And he's going to end up taunting me. That's totally fine because I'm attacking already. I am attacking already. I'm already attacking. So Ice Spinner is going to fly. How much damage can we do with that? Nice chunk of damage. Half of that thing's HP. Bleak Windstorm is going to fly. Hopefully no speed drop on Thunders, right? We don't want Defiant to pop here. Of course, there's a speed drop. This thing's going to Defiant boost. It's not Defiant. That's big time. The close combat comes through here. And I sash up. So Sash is coming here. And our Spruce defense is going to drop. Cool. So from here, we just got to go for another Bleak Windstorm. We know we outspeed, so I might just want to swap in his Suing Samurai. Do I want to swap in Samurai here? And save the Shen Pao for the what's called? Yeah, I want to save the Shen Pao. I really do. I do think an Aqua Jet might come out from... Uh, from Urshfu, so maybe I should have sucker punched it, but I really want to bring out my Samurai here. Really want to bring out the Samurai, and there he is. Oh, and he's shiny, and that's a gorgeous shiny. You know, which all Urshfu too? Okay. You which all Urshfu? You bring out Regilecki. So hopefully we get the speed drop on Regilecki. We do have we do have Aqua Jet for that, which can be pretty good. But Eerie Impulse is gonna fly here, so he wants first turn priority. He wants to drop my special attack. Might have to swap that Pokemon. Regilecki's a problem. Can we get a speed drop on Regilecki? We don't even pick up the KO on the Thunderous. That really hurts, but we do get the speed drop on him. Hmm. I don't know what to do. I really don't know what to do, because Thunderous is going to die here. Or not Thunderous. Uh, Samurai's going to die here. I think we still go for a Bleak Windstorm. I think we might have just have to let this Pokemon go out here. I think we might just have to let Samurai go out here. He Eerie Impulse is into me again. I'm looking kind of just to get a nice little speed drop here. And get some work done. But Thunderbolt's going to KO me all day, even with that vest. Yeah, I knew I was dead to that. So Samurai not really doing much here in match number one, but still. We're looking to win this one. I would love to get this video started off with a W. Weak Windstorm's going to KO Thunderous. Regilecki, hopefully we get another speed drop. No, we do not. We do not, but it's sitting minus one. I can always sucker punch that. Probably should just swap my, uh... Probably should just swap my boy and set up a Tailwind. That probably should have been the play, but from here... I am just going to go into Dragonite. And I'm going to choose an E-Speed. And I'm going to swap my Thunders. Do I swap my Thunders? Actually, no. I don't... Actually, yeah. We do swap Thunders. We need Shen Pao here. We need Shen Pao here. So, Samurai not getting any love in here in match number one. But still. I'm going to choose this E-Speed. And we're going to... We're going to try to get rid of Regilecki. Regilecki is just that Pokemon. We can't. With it. We simply cannot. So I'm going to swap my... My, uh... Tornadus out here. I keep getting the names mixed up. Thunders and Tornadus. Because they're both on the field. We're going to bring out Shen Pals, but this is a really good match for uh, for the start of it. East Speed comes out here. It finishes off Regilecki. We're going to take this dub all day. Kind of upset we didn't get out Samurai to do anything. It just kind of took a punch, but it's all good. It's definitely all good. We'll take this dub. We'll hop into our second match. We'll definitely use it in the second and third match. Actually, I totally forgot there's still Rillaboom. Rillaboom is still here. And we know this thing has Fake Out, so... I might just... uh. Protection, pal, for sure. They might just fake out KO me. And then just keep e-speeding. Yeah, that's cool. I totally forgot he had an extra Pokemon. <laughs> I really do think he fakes out my Shen Pal, though. But yeah, we pretty much have this match on lock. Even, even after his turn, right? I'm trying to think of ways he could potentially like KO me here. It's just not happening. I feel like the only way is if you double down into... Dragonite, but I just don't see that happen. I, I feel as if fake out has to go in the Shen Pao here. 
If you're not, you end up faking out. I flinch. Who are you going after here? He's going to Aqua Jet and take you out. Okay, I mean, that's fine. My whole plan was as long as we have Dragonite. That's exactly what we do. So now I can E-Speed Urshfu. I can Bleak Wind Storm to pick up the KO onto, uh, onto Rillaboom. And everything is working out just dandy. Just dandy. The Bleak Wind Storm coming out here. I'm going to E-Speed right up into Urshfu. Game, set, match? Pretty much, right? I mean, they can protect all they want. But they end up not. Urshfu's going to go down. I don't even see Rillaboom KO on one of my Pokemon here, right? I don't think it has the moves, the facilities to do so. But Bleak Wind Storm comes out here. Puts that thing really, really low. One E speed should be able to finish that off. And we can get a speed drop on him as well. He goes for a knockoff. We should be able to soak that. Okay, we do. Cool. I was going to say, if that KOs me, get on out my face with that. Because that wasn't even stab. <laughs> That's not even stab damage. But now we just go into another Bleak Wind Storm. We stay with our choice ban E speed. Did they cancel? They do not. E speed is going to finish things off. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. 1 and 0 to get things started here. But like I said, second and third match, we're definitely going to be rocking out with Samurai a lot more. Hopping into our second match. Like I said, we're going to bring out Hisui and Samurai and try to use it a lot more in this match. And I might actually lead it up against these Pokemon. They got Indeedee. They got Sneasler. They also have Urshifu, Cleavor. And then Corviknight and Enamor. So I feel like Samurai could be really good, especially with its terror type with the fairy. I could lead it with Shen Pao, which is not bad, or I can lead it for some speed. I feel as our speed's not too bad, so I kind of don't think we need Tornadus. So I think going into Pokemon like actually we might want Cleaver instead of Fluttermane. Let me see Fluttermane's moves again. Maybe, maybe. Because a Pokemon that I feel as or I feel that is a problem is going to be Corviknight. We're going into a Pokemon. Like Flutter Mane might not be our play. Might not be our play. We do have Choice Scarf on this thing. Could outspeed it a bit. We do have Close Combat. I might want to go into Cleaver instead. And I think I'm going to do that. We're going to go Cleaver instead of Flutter Mane. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. So no Tornado's coming out here. We're not too worried about speed. I mean, a few other Pokemon can outspeed us. I know uh, Sneasler's rather fast. But we have some first time priority Pokemon such as Dragonite, Shin Pao. We also have Aqua Jet on, uh, on my Samurai. That can work really well. So I'm all about it. I'm all about it. They have a few special attackers. They have Enamorous and Indeedy. I think that's the only two. I was going to say that the Soul Vest is definitely going to help us out. But I'm just looking to get out Sam right here, grab ourselves another win here, and go into the third and final battle with a winning record. I really wonder who they're going to lead. I just, wanna, I just want Sam Rot to do good. I really do. There's nothing worse than when you're recording for a Pokemon and you're not doing good with it. And so far, we're not doing good with it. We, we sent it out to its death last match. This match, we just let that thing die out. So they end up going Indeedee and Sneasel. I'm good. I'm definitely going to Thrasilize my uh, my Samurott here. And the reason I say that is because I don't want to get close combat by Sneasel and just die out. So Psychic Terrain is going to pop out here. Uh, I'm cool with that. I'm definitely cool with that. And I'm just going to Thrasilize. And that thing has poison moves too. That Pokemon's so good. Special defense boost. Yeah, I'm going to Thrasilize and just Ceaseless Edge this thing now. And then on top of that, I'm just going to Ice Spinner and break the terrain. Cool. Breaking terrain could be very good for us. Very, very good for us. But I know Sneezer's really, really fast. It does have Fake Out too, but if you're leading with Indeedee, it makes me think that your Sneezer does not have Fake Out. But yo, Shiny Samrat looks so dope. I do like its original colors a little bit better though. I just think its original colors look so dope. But I think Shiny Samurai just looks like normal Samurai, right? Not really, because normal Samurai has more of a yellow tint instead of white. But we go straight into a fairy type, and there's no way you're reading that going for a poison move anyway. I feel as a close combat might come after me. We'll see. But Helping Hand is going to fly here. Hold up. Wait a minute. What are you doing? What are you doing? You do go for close combat. Cool. This is exactly why we Terrasalize, and that did a ridiculous amount of damage. A bit too much, right? A bit too much. Ice Spinner's gonna come through here. It's gonna deal with some nice damage to Sneasel. Maybe KO it. It does. I was gonna say, defense is dropped. Defense is dropped. And now Samurai can come in here with a Ceaseless Edge. Should be able to do some big time damage considering his stab. It's super effective. And this next is Shen Pao. Indeed, get on out of here. Get on out of here. And we get the crit. And we have Sharpness boost. 50% boost. Come on, man. Samurai's hitting like a truck. And we drop spikes. So if you're Sash next time, that's lovely. That is lovely. Yo, Samurai for the win here in match number two. Getting things started off hot here. 
Enamorous is going to come out here. I might just first turn priority this Pokemon. I mean, I know it probably outspeeds me. The first turn priority could be our friend. And Urshfu is going to come out here. And this is the single strike Urshfu. So I could just go into an Aqua Jet. What's your speed? What is your speed? You're 107. So yeah, we're definitely Aqua Jet with you. We are definitely Aqua Jet with you. And he might sucker punch me. I might just swap Samurott. You should get out Dragonite. You could definitely sucker punch me, but sucker punch might not KO. You know what? I'm just going to stay in with you. I'll just go for an Aqua Jet here. And... I'll just Ice Spinner down Enamorous. Let's see what they end up going into. So they're going to finally Terrastalize. Who are you Terrastalizing? And be Enamorous. Into what typing? Fighting. This thing's going for superpowers. Looking for some big time damage. Looking for some crazy damage. Aqua Jet's going to fly here. Chunking up. Oh, that's some great damage. I'm getting some crits here. Ice Spinner coming out here. Dealing some nice damage. Oh, yeah. That's nice damage. And superpower should apply here. So, he'll pick up the KO. That's definitely... Actually, no. We're Sash here. That could be good for us. That could be really good for us. Because now we get off a Sucker Punch. What is up with all these crits, man? Crits left and right. Urshfu, what are you going for? You got to be taking out my Samurai. That's got to be 100%, right? But yeah, he wicked blows. He gets rid of Samurai. But Samurai did some work. He did absolute work. Got rid of Ndidi. That's a guaranteed crit. There's just so many crits on the field right now. But now, I know I have speed up against both these guys. I can Sucker Punch and pretty much pick who I want to KO. And I also have E-Speed Dragonite. Which we're going to bring out here. Or do I just go into you? We could save our Dragonite. Let's have some fun with Cleavor. You guys seen plenty of Dragonite. Dragonite came up clutch in match number one. So, we'll bring out Cleavor here. So from here, I'm just going to go into, I guess I'll choice into a close combat. Just looks sick. And I'll go after you, and I'll try to sucker punch and KO Enamorous. This should be able to do enough damage into it. It should. Cool. So you're going here. Cleaver will definitely outspeed that Urshfu, unless it's going for a sucker punch. And this game set match. Samurott getting work done here in match number two. Setting us up for victory. Definitely want to use it in the third and final match. But Cleaver's going to clean this one up. Hitting that thing with a close combat. Let's go grab ourselves a perfect record in our third and final match. Final match coming at you guys. We have ourselves a true test here. Assuming Samurott really showcased in match number two. Absolutely love it. Would love to get it out here. But it's going to be a tough one. I'm definitely going to try to sneak it in. We might have our first loss in Regulation D Casual Ladder. Just considering they have Regilecki, Zapdos, Regidraco, Tornadus, and then Ursaluna. And Urshfu, if I did not say Urshfu. But we got to go to an honest match speed. I might just lead this Pokemon, but I really cannot. I really cannot. I'm just going to go into... Did we go Cleavor? No, you know, we're going to go Samurott. We're, we're definitely going to go Samurott. I can always thrash slice, which I really like. So I'm going to go Samurott here. I am going to bring Shen Pao and I think Dragonite. I just think they are goaded. And if we're going to win a match, especially up against these Pokemon right here, we're going to need our strongest Pokemon. So I'm going Samurott for the lead. Hopefully I get ripping with some damage. I wonder who they're gonna lead, right? Tornadus and one of the electric types. If I had to guess, if I had to guess, if I had to guess, right? I hope not, but if I had to guess, that's what it's gonna be. We'll see, we'll see. This might be our first loss. This might be Jeans' first loss on the casual ladder in regulation D. Cause I've been three and oh perfect <laughs> this whole time, which is awesome. It really is. I'm curious. I am curious to see who they're going to lead. Come on. No electric. No Regilecki. I can deal with Zapdos. I can definitely deal with Zapdos. Regilecki is just a problem, man. I don't feel like dealing with that. Electric. This was a bad lead for us, to be honest. Especially with electric Pokemon. We're just hoping no electric Pokemon are coming out here. Cause then I'm forced to Terrasalize one of them. The other one probably dies out. I'd rather Tornadus die out after that. But Reggie Lecky and Reggie Draco come out here. Okay. Um. Hmm. Definitely gotta set up a Tailwind. And gotta Terrasalize you with the Fairy. And I'm just gonna go for a Ceaseless Edge. Actually, what does more damage? Aqua Cutter or Ceaseless Edge? Is that the Spikes though? I do like the Spikes. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna go into Aqua Cutter here. I wanna do as much damage as I can to Reggie Lecky. Make sure an Aqua Jet can potentially KO. 
But if I had to guess what our opponent's going for, it's probably just straight E Web into Dragon Small. Well, not Dragon Small, Dragon Energy. And that's gotta be Dragon Terror, right? Yep, Dragon Terror. I know exactly what they're doing. That's fine by me. I have Shen Pao in the back end. I can outspeed after this. Should be fine. I should be fine here. Fairy Terror, definitely clutching up. Because Tailwind's gonna come out here first. I know you're gonna get the speed drop on Samurai, but. Sam Rock can do some big time damage with Aqua Cutter. Aqua Jet with Shen Pao on the field after this should be able to KO Regilecki. And then I can just Ice Spin her down. I kind of like this. It's got to be E Web. You got to be going for E Web, no doubt in my mind. You will still outspeed my Sam Rock, which is crazy, but it's fine. So Tornado's going to go out here. We know Dragon Energy is about to come out here. I think I'm cool with this. I think I'm cool with this because Aqua Cutter is going to. Oh my lord! Just jump on Reggie. Let's go, Samurai. I love you. I love you. There's the Dragon Energy and Fairy Terra coming in clutch. Coming in big time clutch. So we know what they're doing. We know what they're doing. I'm bringing out Shen Pao. I'm bringing out Shen Pao. I'm not playing around. I'm not playing around. Plus we have Tailwind up now. And we pretty much should be able to outspeed most. Unless they bring out Tornadus. But I have Focus Ash on my boy too. Which is really good. So let's see. Yep, Tornadus does come out here. Okay, that's fine. That's definitely still fine. Again, I have Focus Ash. I need to get rid of Reggie Draco. So Ice Spinner is going to be your best friend here. And then on top of that, do I just Aqua Cutter again? Yeah, right? No need for spikes. We don't need spikes too much. I just think Aqua Cutter is going to be your best friend. So I'm going to Aqua Cutter down this uh, Tornado slot and let Chen Pao do its work onto Reggie Draco. So, really good Terra from us. And I actually really like where the, the Terra is sitting on Reggie Draco. But we're fine here. We have Focus Sash. I don't see you taking out my Samurott. And we actually go first. So, see you later, Reggie Draco. There's no way you're sashed. Get it on out of here. Samurott is now going to probably KO Tornadus. Aqua Cutter, Sharpness Boost, Stab. Shen Pao next to him. This is ridiculously strong. Did not KO, but still big time damage. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. So Urshifu comes out here for their final Pokemon. I think Aqua Jet should be able to KO that Tornadus. I'm really hoping. And then from here, mm, Actually, should I just Sucker Punch this thing? He's gonna attack. He's definitely gonna attack, and I'm just gonna Aqua Jet. Actually... Let's just, let's just use our big time damage. Let's go Secret Sword into this. And then Aqua Jet you down. I like that. I like that a lot. The so Samurott really coming out here in match number two and three. He rain dances. You're boosting my Aqua Jet. Thank you. I love you. Thank you. <laughs> I wasn't sure if Aqua Jet was actually going to KO, but with the rain, of course it's going to KO. <laughs> See you later. We get rain boost, Sacred Sword for big time damage. And we're pretty much set up here, fine. Surgeon Strikes, okay, that's fine. You're just gonna Surgeon Strikes me down. I still have, yeah, this is wraps, this is wraps. Samurai MVP here. Match number three, absolutely teeing off. Fairy Terror type, able to dodge the Dragon Energy. That worked out perfectly for us. But yeah, Shen Pao's gonna be able to come out here, deal some more damage with, uh, with Sacred Sword, and then Dragon Age just comes out here and E-Speeds down. It's game, set, match. Come on, man, this is too easy. It's way too easy out here. Let's take a sword. Actually, we should go into an aerial ace. Aerial ace is our best bet. Because they already terrestrialized. So we're choice ban aerial ace. Take a sword doing some big time damage. Brick break coming out here. We have sash. And now aerial ace says night night for another perfect record. I thought I was going to lose this match. But not going to lie. Samurai carried us. So awesome way to end today's video. We go 3-0. Get to showcase a Hisuian Samurai team. There it is, ladies and gentlemen, another 3-0 perfect record, but this time using Hisuian Samurai. Hopefully you guys did enjoy I absolutely love this Pokemon, and if you guys want to rent this team, try it out for yourself. Rental code is at the top right-hand corner. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to leave a like on it, and if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my content goes live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread positive today. I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.